Double zap zap. That's what we're looking at, dragon attack. We're going to look at two of them. We're going to look at the second one twice. Don't see it an awful lot. You should see it a fair bit in Town Hall 9, the old zap zap quake version of the attack. Let's just dive straight into this. But before we do, I'm Mr. Welcome back to the channel. If you're returning, if you're brand new to the channel, just take a moment now to hit the subscribe button for daily uploads of Clash of Clans and other game related games anything related to gaming will be on this channel okay let's just dive straight into this actually just stop before we do that i just want to talk about the attack on this base in general from a zap zap double or double zap zap point of view you're going to be taking out two air defenses with the zap quakes now ideally then in this regard you want to take one out with your initial funnel such as the queen and or king king's going to struggle to try and get any depth into the base and the queen would as well to get these three the logical one is this for the queen which would mean you either going to funnel the king from this point but that's a very wide face on the base it makes more sense to funnel the king along this side bring the queen in here now in that regard you're most likely going to take out you and also the other thing to consider is the direction of the air sweepers so you've got a couple of the directions of the air sweepers. So the furthest air defences away from you are the ones that are generally the biggest threat to you. Not always, but generally speaking, unless you've got a different plan to come in for them. So always considering you, your main goal, keeping the dragons up, you need to take out the air defences. So off the top of my head, while you've still got fresh troops and you're going to use a rage spell, Queen takes out this, your lightning takes out these two off the top of my head, and that leaves this one for the dragons in the initial push into the base. Air sweepers are not an issue coming in from this side. Let's see what the attacker does. Okay, now we do have a free spell as well, and a poison spell for the clan castle. This was a fresh uh, this was not a fresh hit, so the Tesla was known about this is a clean up attack, that's why the two balloons were put on the Tesla. And do take note of the troop spells. We've got two baby dragons, eight dragons, and we did have six balloons. Plus balloons in the stone slammer, which you'll see in a second, or you'll see later as it comes out. All expos uh, air. Yep, they're all on the air. We've got one single inferno and we've got one multi. So the queen's ability not yet used. The king's ability used wisely. Notice how the king is still up and the rage has only just faded. So if you use that too late, so if you use the king's ability now, then the king will likely perish before his rage ability actually finishes and you don't get maximum use out of the rage. So as you can see, took out the two furthest air defences so, because they would be the hardest ones to path to and take the longest to get to and they could do damage for the longest period of time. So I've got a free spell going on. Now the free spell certainly stopped the air defence from attacking the hound. However, you still had some other things attacking the hound as well and of course the the single inferno wasn't able to nuke the hound but you still had a couple of expos and you had the clan troops coming out also so stone slammer on the right hand side balloons have popped now when i first saw this and the balloons popped with the air skellies i thought uh oh the balloons will just get wrecked by the hand air skellies but of course max balloons have a lot more health than the old town hall nine black balloons uh which just they were really good at one point when they were the kind of max balloons to have. But at some point, obviously, as we moved past Town Hall 10 to Town Hall 12, we, you know, we had to upgrade balloons because everything was just becoming too weak. OK, so you've got the wizard being distracted by the dragon on that side up here and the baby dragon and the senior dragon, both taking out the Teslas. No problem there. Balloon coming over. Now, of course, also in the old days when the slow balloon drop happened, where you see sometimes you would see the balloons would just circle and follow a king around. And just as they were getting ready to drop the bombs on the king, the king would move and then the balloon would go, okay, target's moved, I've got to follow. And you've just seen the balloon just slowly path around a king endlessly until the timer ran out, even though there might have been a builder's hut over here or something to take out, um, signifying, hey, just a minion up the sleeve or something would have been good. Okay, so... Principles to keep in mind, if you can take out one of the air defences with your initial funneling or using your heroes, you're going to use the zaps to take out the back air defences and then push in heavy 
on that front air defense, blocking it with a lava hound with your stone slammer coming in from the side. Okay, it's a lot to think of, but let's have a look at the second attack. All right, now as you have a look at this base, one of the things that you can kind of see, uh, we'll have a look at the expos first, ground, ground, air. So that's an air expo. Um, sorry, air, air and ground, I said it the other way. Now, looking at the air sweepers, we've got one that way, got one that way. So we don't want to push in from this kind of side of the base. We're not going to push straight into an air sweeper. We don't want to push into an air sweeper, which kind of means from the dragon's point of view, we have to come from this side again. The only thing is, what do we funnel with? Do we put the queen up the top? Do we put the queen down on this side? Now, just considering where the queen could possibly go, if she goes up here, she'll take out one archer tower. She'll take out a cannon. She'll clear out this kind of corner, which is, doesn't really have as many air threats as this corner does. This corner has two archer towers and a wizard. Even though there's an archer tower here, to have the queen path from there to there is kind of, it's unlikely. If she gets hooked up on these storages and the town hall, then she's just going to take forever. So it would make more sense to get the king up on this side so he can take out a few things and then the queen on this side. Now you'll notice that he's bringing in one less baby dragon than on the previous attack. It's a different attacker, but replacing that with a giant and you'll see how that giant gets used to help keep the king alive just a little bit longer. And again, pay close attention to the king's iron fist ability in this attack. Okay, so queen's gone down. Now she's taking fire straight away. Is she really in range? Yeah, she was really in range. So that really couldn't be helped. Okay, now the giant has gone down at the top here. And it distracted the archer tower enough and the cannon so the king could take out a few things like i said we're going to have a look at this attack again so while i was pointing out the queen we got distracted missed the king but the whole point of that is the health that the giant had would have been taken off the king from the get-go this way it's kept the king alive longer look at his rage ability got about halfway used it now the king will still have his rage until just now and now he goes down so he did get maximum use out of the rage so it, the hound has gone in and of course you're taking out the two furthest air defences that are a threat leaving this one which is the easiest to get to with a stone slammer or pathing from, from balloons and so on and so forth. If it's put the stone slammer here that possibly would have worked as well but this was, uh, I believe this also might have been a clean up attack as well yeah it was because they knew that they knew what was in the clan castle they knew that there was a hound in the clan castle in which case an air attack is not going to be bothered by a hand hound in the clan castle so the stone slam is coming in air defense is still up freeze unfortunately we, we missed the freeze but i want to point out the freeze did not get both of the ground expos at that time it only got one of them and it got, uh, sorry, it didn't get both of the air expos. It only got one. It got one of the ground ones, one of the air expos. But in terms of spell placement, this haste spell was just primo. So it's gone onto the mortar, expo, expo, and then hasted onto the double cannon. So that's good value out of that haste spell. I do believe, though, that the balloons would have been closer to this top expo and not the bottom one, which is what they went to first. We'll have a look at that again in replay, like I said. So this base wiped out, 12 seconds left to go. Balloons, like little little goblin. You might as well bring a goblin as a spare troop unless you need to snipe a builder's hut or something somewhere else, in which case you'd probably bring an arch up. Okay, let's have a look at this attack again. There are the troops up on the screen, but we'll have a look at the attack again. Okay, so we know what the queen's going to do down this side. We have to keep an eye on the queen and an eye on the king as well. So queen's gone down. That's cool. Giant's gone down. Now the king. So while the archer and the cannon are shooting the giant, they are not shooting the king. So the king gets to live just that little bit longer than he otherwise would have because of that. Now, good hold off on this queen's ability over on this side. Uh, I probably would have been popping it earlier. But then if I did, I don't think I would have taken out as much stuff. 
So, of course, she got caught up on the dark drill, and that was that. So the king will take out a nice little bit of cleaning funnel here on this side. He won't, the barbs won't get too much done out of there. Um, that'll kind of be the end of them. Bit of a spring, bit of a that, and that's that. But it's a fantastic funnel. You've only got the multi left. Zaps go down now. Now, the thing with this sort of attack is you don't need to zap it before you start the attack. You can zap it along the way as long as you are coming in. You're not going to try and come in over where you'd be zapping. So these two would have been the deadliest. Watch for the free spell here. Unfortunately, just slightly on the wrong expo. Tried to get all three. Missed all three. Only got one of the ones that mattered. Okay, Stone Slammer's in. Protecting... Not a lot at the moment, obviously it's protecting from the archer, but once that air defense locked onto the dragon, the dragon was going to go down because it would just keep shooting the dragon the whole time. But at this point, the archer's locked onto the baby dragon, the haste spell to just get the balloons through and save that other dragon. Now, again, the balloons are here. This should have been the closest. It should have path, path, and then path down. Either way, it doesn't matter. The result's the same. Excellent placement of the haste spell to get the balloons to path around all of those weapons. So some of the things to keep in mind with the double zap zap is if you can take out an air defense with your initial funnel, that's fantastic. If you're going to then have coming in from behind the air sweepers, ideal. So always be looking at that kind of an angle. So if I'm looking at where the air sweepers are placed, where can I come in behind them? What can I do to create the funnel from that point? Can I zap? Can I take an air defense out with the initial funnel creation and then zap two others? And the third one, bring my dragons over if possible, because that's the ideal in the initial push when you've got a rage spell. Anyway, that's all I've got for this video today. Now it's your turn to let me know what you think if you've tried this. Now I do recommend just making this troop combo up and trying on a, on a whole variety of bases. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised to see how many bases this kind of attack can actually work on. I think you'll find it will work on a lot more bases than you might give it credit for. But let me know in the comments below what you think. And until next time, thanks for watching.